Welcome to Shiner, Texas. This town is hilarious because it's like that big, I would totally drive right through it, but all my bro friends insisted that I stop here because this is the only place where they make Shiner Bach in this big ass factory over here. If you, <laughs> if you notice that the skin is peeling off my face, it's because I derma rolled the other night and now I'm like a python losing its winter coat. Uh, I don't drink, so this stop has nothing to do with benefiting me. I'm strictly doing this because I think you all are going to get a kick out of it. And then all my dude friends who love this beer, uh, mostly shooting this to rub it in their face that I'm here and they're at home with their kids watching Frozen for the 20th time. I do not drink. I don't ever drink. I may take a sip of champagne at a wedding. That's just a personal preference. Uh, you will find that when you do not drink as an adult, people will try to talk you into it all the time. Like there is no other food or beverage on the planet where if you don't want it, if you don't like it, if it's not in your world, that people will try to convince you that it should be. It's like, if I say that I don't drink, people will go, why? Why is it any of your damn business? If I said I don't like mayonnaise, people wouldn't go, well, well, why? Did, did something bad happen when you had too much mayonnaise? Do you have to go to meetings because you had a problem with mayonnaise? Why don't you like, like no other food do people try to force you into it. But if you don't drink, people think that's really weird. So anyway, I'm gonna be maybe the only person who doesn't drink beer at the Shinerbach uh, brewery tour, but whatever, we'll just own it. We'll see how this all works and uh, take a little tour back in time because I think that the sign said that this facility was built in the early 1900s. So one way or another, you're gonna see how beer is made and I'm going to be the rogue agent, the sober person at the brewery tour. Let's go. Look at Shiner out here living that band life. Well, I am late for the tour, so I've got some time to creep around their humongous production facility, do a little trespassing, and just kind of check things out. I did learn so far, so Texas has a very substantial immigrant population, which I don't think most people know, I didn't know. Uh, lots of German influence here, and essentially with the beginnings of this whole uh, brewery involved a group of immigrants uh, from Germany, and they started brewing beer in a little tin building, and kept growing it and kept growing it, and then they finally got an investor and were able to expand uh, and over the years, it sounds like Shiner has had the struggle that most every small independently owned business has, which is competing with big corporations, big breweries, who can outproduce them, outdistribute them, outinvest them, et cetera, et cetera. So we've got some time to take in the sunshine. They offered to bring me in on a game of cornhole out here on the yard, but um, I'm from New Jersey and we don't play cornhole and I'm not about to lose my street cred. And they also gave me a handful of these like, I don't know, things that you trade in for beer samples. But I don't like beer, so I'm gonna try to sell these to other people. <laughs> Use them as collateral, make some money. not actually allowed to do any video inside the Shiner factory, so we're just going to have to use some of my still photos. Uh, but it was pretty neat. You can't see how it's made. I'm sure that's proprietary. <laughs> but it was a cool factory tour and it was free and at the very end they asked for a donation to help men and women in the military who have lost arms and legs and need prosthetics and I was like, 
you can count on that. So that was neat. It kind of tells you a little bit about what the company stands for. And they run 24 hours, five days a week, but I think they said for as long as it's been in existence, they believe that Saturday and Sunday are for faith, family, and friends, and nobody works in the factory on those days. And I think that's pretty neat. That's the kind of thing you get in the south here in america so i'm going to explore the town a little bit the entire town smells like a giant bagel <laughs> i imagine that's the yeast coming off the factory uh bread is referred to as or, i'm sorry beer is often referred to as liquid bread the ingredients and process for making bread and beer are often very similar and i know when i owned a bakery i made soft beer pretzels and i used beer quite a bit to help the the yeast out and I have used Shiner, but Shiner, Texas, this town kills me. Look at this, this is like as quintessential Texas as you get, there's the Bay bus. Ye old Bay bus. The slogan for Shiner, Texas is the cleanest little town in Texas or the cleanest town in Texas. I don't remember the exact words, but I have to tell you, one of the things that I noticed about Texas right off the bat is how clean it is. Everything is spotless. I mean, where there should be garbage on the road, there isn't. I mean, logically, like on just sidewalks like this or over here, there should be trash. That's how every town is. And everywhere I go in Texas, and granted, I've not been through the whole state, but it's, it's bloody beautiful. I mean, they, are, they take so much pride in their communities here. That's just obvious. And ladies, okay, I know that we have said some things about cowboys and just how handsome they are. The men in Texas actually say howdy ma'am, and it is the most delicious thing. The first time a man said howdy to me, I was like, do you want to get married? Mm -hmm. 